Deciding to change schools partway through the year is not easy, but their local private school demanded two boys cut their long hair. It was either do that or find another school, but their father says the school isn't enforcing the policy fairly. Fox 13's Brian Schnee shows us. It's something likely a parent would never want to do, and that would be remove their child from a school, but that is the case for a local family. They were told to either have their boys cut their long hair to meet a certain criteria or leave the school entirely. Aaron Wagner and his wife have enrolled multiple children at the Challenger School in Lehigh. If it was up to us, our kids would be at school exactly where they're supposed to be. He's got, you know, fairly long hair. We've never cut his hair ever in his life. The Wagners have been in conversation with the school since August regarding the hair length of their eight-year-old son, Tucker. And it's really important to him. It's like part of his identity and his core belief systems. Aaron says Tucker had been in the school for five years and no one ever said a thing to him about his hair until recently. As the conversations continued between Aaron, his wife, and the school, their six-year-old son, Jagger, who also has long hair, was lumped in. It's super disruptive to our kids, and our, our sons are having to pay for it now. The boys were either to cut their hair to a certain length, file a religious exemption, or leave the school. At this point, we don't even know what is compliant. You know, there's going to be many that watch this and be like, well, you knew the rules, you signed up for it, you called for it, but that's just not the case. According to the Challenger School's handbook, when it comes to hair, it must be combed, trimmed, and attractive. Extreme styles and lengths covering the eyes aren't allowed, and boys' hair must be trimmed above the collar and ears. Only boys versus only girls. We're in a, we're in a time right now where essentially children and adults get to identify with whatever sex they want to be, yet my kid can't wear hair that's long? I mean, this is, this is just asinine to me. It's Aaron says perfect. that he feels targeted Sexist. and says the policy isn't and being enforced frankly, across the board, with other students at the school right now not meeting the same criteria. He told us that he asked about styling his son's hair differently to pull it back away from his face, but the school said no. He also applied for a religious exemption with the endorsement from a local ecclesiastical leader. We were denied. We were denied the religious exemption. We were given no reason as to why. In the middle of the school year, the two boys will not be returning. Nothing else had changed. Nothing had changed with my son's hair. Nothing had changed with the, with the dress code. Everything was the exact same other than now all of a sudden it was a major issue, but only a major issue for my children. We reached out to Challenger School for additional comment on this, but didn't hear back. We do have a link to their handbook and policy on our website, fox13now.com. In Lehigh, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.